Hi guys, how's it going? I bet the regulars are all going, double take, yes. Don't adjust your TV sets. This is a bonus video. Got a day off work, thought I'd get some extra content in. Was wondering what to do. Thought I'd cover several bases all at once with this. Number one of them being a tag. I don't normally do tags. Don't like being tagged. But Robert very graciously tagged me in the um, with the grain tag. So we'll try and do that justice today. Uh, the razor I want you to take a look at today is an unusual one. This could either end very well or it could end very bad. There you go. Um, but before we do anything else, a sip of the coffee, Seattle's finest. Somebody said to me that coffee, oh that's, that's delicious. That is absolutely, if you're in the UK, I think it's Sainsbury's. There you go, Mayan Mexican gold, a smooth, dark coffee with caramel sweetness. I can vouch for that. It says five, don't be put off by that. I don't like my coffees too strong. That's actually quite mild and very tasty. There you go. And then somebody else also asked to see a pumpkin pie. Look. Oh, it's a pumpkin pie. I made a pumpkin pie and put a picture on Instagram. Somebody said, I want to. I want, to, whoo, I want to see a slice when you've made it. There you go. It tastes like an egg custard uh, with uh, extra nutmeg. Absolutely delicious. I've had my piece, so I'm just going to put that one down there and I'll put it back in the fridge after <clears throat> for someone else. But anyway, that's that. What are we doing now? Let's run down. Pumpkin pie there. Pumpkin pie in the shade. Check this out. This PA is 10 years old, and so is this. Look at that. I'll get right up. Can you see it close? That's the old school, old recipe. Oh, my word. Oh, do you know what it smells like, guys? It smells like the best pumpkin pie you've ever smelled. And then what else is there in there that I'm getting? There's something like, like brown sugar and sweetness. Oh, I just wish I had the matching splash for this. Abs, that smells absolutely divine. I don't know what the new one smells like. That's going to take some beating. It really, really is. And like I say, it was a sample from Reed over at Shave Cave. Uh, and Reed's gone dormant and I've tried messaging him several times. So if you know Reed, or Reed if you see this, or if anybody knows, just... Um, let me know in the comments that he's okay because he's just gone completely, boom, flat, gone uh, instantly. And, and yet in his last video, he was talking about doing some other stuff and some upcoming shaves and so on. So um, yeah, that was gifted to me from Reed. Smells absolutely wonderful. Um, the brush we're going to be using, let's get it the right way up. There you go, Amber Aerolite PAA. Looks a bit cloudy kind of match absolutely wonderful i'm going to put that in the official john shea super soccer it's only going to be a flyer of a video today guys two two passes it will have an effect on when you see the wednesday video on have a look as you can see there is there is stuff there um so the wednesday video will probably go out on wednesday but about 24 hours after it normally does there you go and we've got the new age is it the new age or is it Nagi or is it Noage? <sighs> Noage sounds fantastic, doesn't it? Well, we'll call it Noage this year. And there's the after shave. This is good stuff, guys. Um, Cuban original, it's called. It's something like £12. And it kind of it reminds me of the after shave. It really does. They're in the same ballpark. A lovely, beautiful, rich. It smells a lot more expensive than it costs. That's that way. And now, let's crack this door open. How warm is it in this bathroom? Man, yeah. So there you go. The pièce de résistance, the one you're all waiting for with bated breath. There it is. Devon razor by Wardonia. These were made about thirty miles up the road. Um, I'll slot some pictures in of the old factory and how it looks now, just if you're more curiosity, 
at the end of this video, stay tuned. Um, there you go. It was a beautiful box. I don't know if this is the original box. I bought this years ago, guys. I actually forgot about it until I seen a recent razor. And you tell me if you can guess what razor reminded me of this. Um, and I asked the person in charge that made the new razor if this was any of the influence or, or did you take any inspiration from this. Uh, and no, you didn't. So there you go. That's how it looks inside. I'll take the razor out there. We'll take the blade. It came with four blades, I think. Now, guys, these blades, they stopped making these blades about 60 years ago. It's your, this, is, this is the thing, look. There's the blade there. What on you? Now, I'm using this blade, and there's a very good reason I'm using this blade. And I think it's the reason I put this away and forgot about it. I'm sure you know. You probably know. I'll take that off and put that there. Take that off and put that there. And boom, there it is. You see it? There's the top cap. Remind you of anything? Um, regular razors just do not fit it. I've thought about buying a hole punch for paper and putting really thin razor blades in it and trying to punch the holes out. But it won't work. So, these came... These came with the razor uh, and they were wrapped in this and they were wrapped in greaseproof paper. And I opened them off cam just to see. So I took the greaseproof paper off, off cam, and it all broke away and disintegrated. But check this out, guys. That, I want to get it the right way up for you. You know. That is just how it was once it came out with the grease proof wrapping. Now, I'll try and get to show you the edge, if I can, of these blades. Now look at that. That blade is immaculate and it looks really, really sharp. So let's have a go. <laughs> Here, let's get it. Oh my word, John, what on earth are you doing? There you go, there it is, in there. And we'll get that. This is made out of Bakelite, by the way, this razor. And we'll get that look. And that screws all the way up to the hole inside of there to give you a nice, look at that, level plush finish. Look at that blade exposure. Uh, it looks really aggressive to me guys, it really, really does. So what we're going to do is we're going to wet the face. Oh, we're going to have this challenge before we do anything else. Oh, my wife had a shower before. Oh, my daughter had a shower last night while we were in bed. And someone broke in into my shave den. And got that look, was in the bathroom when I come in this morning. Don't know who it is. Right, anyway. Let's have a do at this. The scent strength on this now, so I can smell it, I can smell it right now. Dog and Fram don't make bad stuff, do they? They really, really don't. I would put the scent strength on, it was dry there, about three and a half. Now it's jumped, it's jumped about four and a half now. So we'll load up onto the brush. You'll see it, that's how long I've been loading. Um, we'll lather up on the face. And then we'll go. Oh, oh it smells. Mm. <laughs> oh man, it smells fantastic. You know. Doug and Fran celebrating the 10 year anniversary. There is a reason. They're still going ten years later. You're looking at it. Look at this, guys. I don't even think this is called PA. I think this is called um, 
how to grow a moustache. I think that's what this look at the camera doesn't lie, does it? And it smells fantastic. Here we go with the grain pass tag challenge. Oh, <laughs> right. Thank you, Robert. Oh, here we go. Oh, my word. Right, we're in trouble. Okay. Uh, that did nothing because I wasn't. Oh my word, no. I wasn't pressing in the slightest. Let's see if it does a further. And uh, let's see if it does a feather and sharpens all. No. no, what you have to bear in mind as well, guys. Not only is this blade 60 years old, but I tend to have this very issue if my hair isn't long enough when I shave. And it's one of the reasons I'm not a daily shaver. So... That's why we'll stick with it. And we'll see where we end up. Oh, this would have been a, this would have been a, what the mule R forty one of his day. I'm thinking. And this, the, the, the blade is quite obviously degraded. Oh my word, yeah, it has. But I saw a video of the new razor. I'm not going to mention it because I don't want the people that made it to think I'm riding the crest of their wave. I'm not, but I have seen a couple of um, channels get it before pre-sale and the second I seen it, it reminded me of this razor. So I left a comment and I said, uh, it's that, um, look at this guys. So is that based on, or did you get inspiration from, the Wardonia uh, razors? And he replied, no. So, you've got to take him at his word, haven't you? Well, I, I would anyway, yeah. He's made no bones about the fact that, you know, yes, I've copied this, and yes, I've copied that, and I took inspiration from this, I took inspiration from that. So, uh, if he had have taken inspiration from this, no doubt in my mind he'd have said yes. If he had so, there you go. Here we go. Let's get this. Okay. Yeah. Massive, massive improvement. Yeah. Put it this way. I don't think it's a razor I'll be using again, unless unless I can, the hole punch trick works, and I can get a modern blade in this. I did try with a pair of real small, snippy scissors to cut away a few, a few little holes out, and I was successful. But it just the blade just didn't sit right. Well, that was very smooth. Yeah. 
Yeah, I think I think maybe if I'd had longer hair and it's struggling on the chin as well. I think maybe uh, I think a combination of my stubble a 60 year old blade it's uh, it's not made for the closest of shaves and that is our tag challenge oh my word see when I go in the shower guys I go in the shower I'm in for like 52 seconds not wife and daughter, 52 minutes and the heating's got to be on and all the windows have to be shut oh yeah gotta be like a furnace how dare I open a window cheers right no lather mittens today look at this um, in a word garbage Garbage. Now I don't know if it's the tag, I don't know if it's the two. With the grain, I have a feeling it's a combination of everything. I think it's the razor, the blade, and I think if I'd used the R41 and a brand new feather blade, I think it'd have still been garbage. I think there's a reason the universally accepted method is a three shave pass. Always this if this works for you, it works for you, you know. I'm only speaking for me. But there you go. Hands were wet. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Let's put some on. Oh. Oh, there you go. Oh, that smells nice. That smells real. This stuff is so runny. It wasn't cheap, it was about five pounds out and all. Well, it depends, doesn't it? Five pounds. Yeah, I suppose it is cheap, really, isn't it? And there you go. That. It's our bonus Wardonia. Did it remind you of anything? Against the grain past tight shave. <laughs> Look after yourselves, guys. I'm gonna go and put this pie in the fridge now uh, for someone for after. <clears throat> Look after yourselves and I will see you on Wednesday. Bye.